What's up everybody? This is the certified Chris G coming at you with another motivational message to make sure that you keep chasing the ever elusive greatness in your life. So I wanted to come on here guys and say happy Thursday. You know, I hope you guys are having a great week. We're getting close to the weekend, if you know what I'm saying, to uh, get out there and finish this week strong. So I wanted to come on here tonight and add a little bit of inspiration, if you will, right? A little inspiration watching the baseball playoffs lately. I don't know who you guys are rooting for, but just I just personally, I'm a, I'm a Guardians fan. And I mean, we ain't in the playoffs, so I'm kind of hoping that I get to watch some good baseball because baseball is one of my favorite sports to watch. And I wanted to come on here and I wanted to do a speech tonight about the 0-2 count. Okay, so for you guys that aren't too familiar with baseball, the 0-2 count is when you have zero balls and two strikes against you. And remember, three strikes and you're out. And so it's literally the worst case scenario to be in if you're a hitter besides being out. Okay, and uh, I myself personally in high school was a pitcher and I used to love the 0-2 count. Let me tell you why, okay? Uh, let, me, let me get myself together. Let me tell you why a little bit. The reason why I love the O2 count is because you really got to see a person's thought process and got to see their real character when they got posed with an O2 count. See, when I'm the pitcher and I'm behind 3-0, it's on me to fix it, right? That batter can stand up there and he could take two free passes before I got to prove how good I am. See, but when I have an O2 count, when I have an 0-2 count as a pitcher, the ball is in my hands, right? I can throw whatever I want, and that batter has to be prepared for it. It is his worst case scenario. I can throw a fastball. I can throw a changeup. I can throw a curveball, and he's not gonna. He's gonna have to guess. He's gonna have to sit back, and he's gonna have to guess, and he's gonna have to hope that he guesses correctly. And see, I really got to see people's mentality with an 0-2 count because you want to know the truth. When I was a pitcher. Most people give up on the 0-2 count. They submit. They just pretty much counted that at bat as a loss. See, I was comfortable with that because, you know, I loved it because most people gave up before I even got them out. They were mentally defeated, right? See, and I want to share that with you guys tonight because some of you right now are in an 0-2 count in your life, in your goals, in your job, in your relationship. You got an 0-2 count where you got two strikes against you and you got one strike left. And right now you think that's the be all end all that you've already failed twice. You've already failed a couple times and you just want to give up. You're like, I, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect right now. What is life going to throw me when literally life can throw you anything and you think that you're not prepared, right? And I just want to give you guys some advice on this right now, because just because you have an O2 count does not necessarily mean that you are out. And I share that with you because I don't want you to count yourself out when you still got one strike left. When you still got breath in your lungs, you still got a beating heart. See, some of you guys out there right now, you think because you got adversity against you that your dream, that your goal life can't happen. And so you'd rather sit back and be comfortable and wait for life to be handed to you. Look, man, I've been there. Okay, and I'll, I'll be straight honest with you right now. There are times in my life that I, I sit back and I, I, I beat myself up because I put myself in an 0-2 count. But I want you guys to understand something, man. As long as you got one strike, as long as you got one more day, as long as you got one more breath, you got a shot to make the life you want happen. So I understand you might not be there yet. I understand you might not hit that home run yet, but it doesn't mean you won't. So please sit back tonight and I want you to take into account what are the O2 counts in your life? What are the things that you have counted yourself out and you still got one strike left? You know what? Maybe you put in 20 applications, ain't no one answer. Put in number 21. Maybe you've been down that relationship road, you've got two, three, four, five significant others and none of them work out yet. Take one more shot. Use that one more strike. Show the world the character that you know lives inside of you. I just wanted to come on here tonight because I see so many people out there giving up on their O2 count and I want to make sure that you don't give up on yours because your life, it matters too much 
for you to just give yourself that strikeout. It matters too much. And I'll tell you as a pitcher, you know what was the most depressing thing? Is when a batter wouldn't even swing and I'd strike them out. They didn't even take their strike. They didn't take their chance. So don't be that person who goes down looking. Don't go through life to go out looking. Life's too short, baby. There's only ever gonna be one you. In the history of this world, there will only ever be one you. One you, one you that gets to live that dream that you're given, to live in that passion, to live with all your goals. Don't go down looking, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching the video tonight. I hope in some small way I helped elevate you to, to your goals. I hope I helped lift you up a little bit. This is the certified Chris G coming at you. And don't ever, ever stop chasing your greatness. Because like I said earlier, man, it matters too much. Much love, baby. Keep chasing your greatness. If you love the video, go ahead and put throw, throw your boy a heart. Throw him a like. Throw him a comment. Okay, share it with your friends or anybody who needs to know that. And if you won't want to miss any more messages, don't be afraid to follow your boy. Okay, don't be afraid to follow because uh, I'm, a, I'm on this journey with you guys too to find the ever elusive greatness in life and just help make a difference in other people. Much love, guys. Y'all have a great Thursday and enjoy the rest of your week. Adios.